Okay, sixth grade, this is your video for your um, art project. And you see I have the materials here that I need. I have my book and I have, um, you'll need one of these pieces of plastic. Don't know if you can see this or not. I'll save these other ones for you guys. Um, you'll tear out this sheet and then you'll cut out along the blue line on the outside and then also on the other side, continuing on with the tan line. When you cut this out completely so that it is basically a perfect fold um, once you get it done. Now, three things that I grade you on in art. One is following the directions. Um, that is the second most important thing. It's 30 points for following the directions and it is uh, 40 points just for completing the project. So. If you do it, no matter how it looks, no matter how it comes out, you're still going to get 40 points. That may not be enough for you. But even if you do the other ones, you, usually people don't not follow the directions completely. They may follow little bits and pieces or have bits and pieces they don't follow. But of course, the directions are on the previous page. And so if you look over there um, and you can see what this says, it says that um, the procedure is read about and observe painting George Washington at Yorktown on the previous page. So you go there. You look at that painting, all right, and um, this is a painting of George Washington at Yorktown, all right, and so it says that um, cut around the viewfinder carefully, cut out the center window. Now the center window, what, I, what I'm talking about is this right here, a pen knife, and you can get these at any store. I got this one at um, Walmart, I believe. I'm going to use this with the uh, cardboard backing to go ahead and cut out because it, even though you can do it with the scissors, it is a little bit difficult. And so I'm going to cut this entire thing out. You've got two windows to cut. But you only need one piece of plastic to put in those windows because that one piece of plastic is um, only needs to cover one side. You don't need both of them to be able to do that. One thing with these pen knives is if you curve it, it will actually move at the curve. Let's see here. You see what I'm talking about there? All right, and so got these cut out now. All right, so you see how nice and neat that edge is. Now, I sort of messed myself up there, so it wouldn't look as nice, but you want to make it nice and, and neat as possible. I'm not expecting perfection necessarily, but I'm expecting at least um, an effort in the things that uh, are, you know, that you're doing as far as art goes. Um, some of you may think, well, I'm not a very good artist. You don't have to be a good artist to do these things. Because if you just follow the directions, these are basic um, types of things that anybody can do. Um, it's like holding a paper airplane. And, and believe it or not, that's a, a sort of a form of art. Um, you've heard of origami. But um, this right here, all right, so now I've gotten both sides cut out um, so that I can then go ahead and do my next part. Now, again, following the direction, it says fold viewfinder in half to dotted line. Now, notice how they have it folded so that this is the inside part, all right? Now, um, trying to figure out, looks like they would have it like this originally, then they have it folded like this. So I'm gonna fold it this way, right on the dotted line, as best as I possibly can. I don't fold it completely until I got it pretty much straight, and then I'll squeeze it together to get that dotted line just right. Now. See how it overlaps? So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze it down a little bit just to get it so that it fits a little bit better on that, on the windows fit on each other a little bit better. And so you could even take your pen knife then if you wanted to, and you can um, even those windows out a little bit so it looks a little bit better. And see this is anything, this is something anybody can do. You just have to be careful with the pen knife um, not to get into the area where you're cutting. I mean, we're, you know, cutting on that outside window. So you can see here now, that improved uh, that part right there. And this part right here, now it looks a lot better, okay? So I have this set up still like this, and it says here to tape my plastic onto this part. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get some tape. And of course you can do this at home. You can do it here if you have some time to do it. Just make sure it doesn't interrupt in other things that you're supposed to be doing. 
So we have this. All right, and then on this side, it shows there are two pieces of tape. All right, and it says open view find lay flat with um, textured side up. So that's the textured side. Um, and so we have this now, this viewfinder, uh, where I can look through and you can see certain things. And then it says close viewfinder and tape it shut. All right, and so with the unmarked side of viewfinder, now first thing I'm gonna do, uh, since I haven't done this yet, and I need to, is put my name. Because once you put your name, then everybody will know whose it is when you lose it, right? All right, so it says tape it shut, and so I'm gonna go ahead and tape it shut. So now my viewfinder is set. And one of the things that they, they tell you to do here is to use your viewfinder um, with the unmarked side of the viewfinder facing you, close one eye and look through the acetate at the room around you. And so you look through and you can see, if you close one eye, you can see just kind of little pictures that you would be looking at of different parts of the room. The further away, of course, the, the, the larger the images get in the little uh, viewfinder the further closer it is the more detail or the more things you see and so that's the idea hold the viewfinder horizontally next to your eye can you see the entire room through its window yeah pretty much with one eye you can um, slowly move the viewfinder away from you do you see more or fewer objects than at first and of course you find that you see fewer now it says to go back to the George watching York time framing uh, framing his head and his upper body and so you see what they did there framing his head and his upper body. And so we can look and I can see his head and his upper body. And so now, in fact, you can sort of see that, but at, as an angle, and I'm trying to see, I don't know what it would be like in the uh, camera, but the further back you get, you can sort of um, fit, fit it in there is the idea. And that's the whole idea of what this viewfinder does is it helps you to fit in uh, pictures and it's going to help you in one particular project later on that you're going to do and so that's why you need to have that viewfinder now make sure you put your name on it but that's it that's all you have to do for your thing I would give myself a probably a 95 I didn't cut it very cleanly um, as you can see the blue is still there but you know for the most part you look there and it looks pretty good um, helping I helped myself by cutting out that extra um, part and I did everything the way I'm supposed to so the way it would work would be this I get 40 points for completing the project 30 points for following directions, they did follow directions. And the last one, the last 30 points is on quality. Now quality depends on how good it looks. Probably on this, I wouldn't take too many points off from you for this. Now, of course, I'm not gonna cut this now because I already have the plastic in there and that would cause me more problems than anything. But maybe when I was, uh, before when I was cutting, I would make sure I'm cutting straight down the middle. One thing that you can do is use a straight edge, uh, either a ruler or you know something like this that you can go right along and it help you cut straight. Uh, probably a ruler would be better in that situation. All right, that's it. Have a, hopefully it goes well for you this week for this project. Thanks, bye.